Hi, welcome to the channel, Budget, Audio View and Upgrades. Now today's video is going to open up a can of worms, I'm afraid. It's going to get a lot of people uh, disagreeing what I say and uh, a lot of bickering and so forth, I think. Um, taking a bit of a chance putting this video on, I think. So I've got a crash helmet on or something like that. But um, it's about upgrades. I've had a few questions. Obviously I get questions about what this amplifier is. You know, what's it sound like against this amplifier? Which amplifier would you buy? Which pair of speakers would you buy? And without listening to both, or you know, I, I can't give an opinion because if I just listen to one, I wouldn't know what the other one sounds like anyway. I'm not a person that would just say, "Yeah, I'll go for that." You know, I guess what's the point? You know, what I mean, you're guessing, you're, you're making someone else spend their money, you know, or heading them in that direction. You're not making them, but you're heading them in that direction of spending their money. And I don't want people to waste their money. I mean, I review stuff on here. It's my personal opinion. Hopefully, even if it if it's not quite your taste in sound, shall we say, that I've still wormed out some not so good stuff for some good stuff, you know what I mean? Some stuff, you know, if I, I can say, you know, don't matter what your taste is, you're probably not gonna like this. It's that kind of bad kind of thing. There's not many items that's on my channel like that, but there is an odd few that I think, you know, just ain't up to the par kind of thing. Kind of skip over that one, try and stay clear of it and look for something else and spend your money on that instead. Try and save your money, because you know, I don't want people wasting their money, that's for certain. But uh, today's about what should I upgrade next. I've had this question come up a couple of times and they give me a list of what they've got. Now I haven't heard none of them, I, don't, you know, I have to look up what they are kind of thing. Uh, so I've not got no idea how they sound anyway. And it's for me to look to find out which is the weakest link. It's probably going to be a bit of hard work because that's what I think you've got to upgrade is the weakest link in that system. But I think it's up to you to determine what that weakest link is. I've been a lot of forums, places like that, and uh, looking at YouTube videos, etc., what people think you should upgrade next. And I think the majority, you know, percentage wise, is speakers. A lot of people say speakers is to go to next. That's the main output, invest in a decent set of speakers. But the speakers you may have in your little budget system depends how much of an upgrade you want to go. You're going from a 50 pound amplifier all of a sudden to spending 500 pound, or is it just a progression upgrade, a little bit of an upgrade? So you may still, you know, your speakers may be fairly decent. So to so go and upgrade them, probably ain't gonna make much difference in the sound if your amplifier's not that great and your source is not that great. It's not gonna make a much, hardly any difference at all. So just bear that in mind. It ain't always the speakers because you can still have a decent set of speakers already and pretty much the same with the amp. You could have a decent amp and the speakers are letting you down. So it's really up to you to try and determine, I think, which is the weak, you know, I keep saying the weakest link. It's probably gonna bear down to the speakers and your amplifier receiver, depending on what you're using. Not unless you've really got a bad source for instance, you've got a 500 pound pair of speakers, a 500 pound amplifier, and you've bought one of these little CD players out of the pound shop, something like that. Uh, and obviously that's where the problem is. But, you know, if they're equally kind of matched, it's gonna, it's gonna be hard for you to kind of work out which way you should go for next. Maybe try and try and find out where your goal is, where, where you're gonna try and end up kind of thing, you know, how far you wanna go and push towards that kind of thing. So, you know, if, if you're thinking, I'm spending 50 pound at the moment, but I'm gonna really do an upgrade and I'll start spending 500 pound an item, then maybe like, you could go for the speakers next, then the amplifier, you're gonna take it in turn. But if you're still gonna gradual upgrade, it's, I think, just to find out where the weakest link is in your particular system. And use that, you know, hopefully you may be able to borrow an amplifier or a pair of speakers from somewhere else, or take your amplifier somewhere, or your speaker somewhere else, and see how they sound. And try and determine, you know, which is the weakest. LA. I've got a decent set of speakers already, so you know, it's not worth me upgrading them. The problems with the amplifier. Uh, so hopefully you can, hopefully determine it yourself, really, rather than getting someone else's opinion. But like I say, going on forums and places like that, speakers seem to come out on top, and then the amplifier seems to come out second on the places I've been. And I've been to quite a few, as it happens. So that's it. Obviously, you can fine tune these things with your speaker placement, all that kind of stuff, cables you know, interconnection cables, speaker cables, but these are, you know, speaker cables and interconnection cables, these are like fine tuning, like, like just a, you're gonna make a, a small percentage, just a very small percentage, you know, in the sound compared to actually upgrading the speakers or the amplifier, you know, especially when we're talking about this budget range, you know what I mean? Maybe a bit, little bit different when we're going up market even further, but don't forget this is a budget channel. Most of the stuff on this channel is a hundred pound less and I'm, I'm definitely trying to keep it to 200 pound less for every item, but most of the stuff here is a hundred pound less and a lot of stuff's in the 50 pound bracket as you can see by all the videos I do. So, you know, this is where I'm aiming. So if you've got that kind of, you, you know, them kind of units in front of you, which should I go for next? You're still on a budget. You probably only want to 
you know, upgrade your 50 pound speakers to 100 pound speakers. So, you know, at the end of the day, I'm trying to say like, you know, it's for you to determine, think really, you know, you've got to kind of decide which is the weakest in your system. And, you know, if you're just going to get that, it's going to be another year or so before you go and buy something else then try and upgrade that weakest link. And obviously, if, if you're going to go and upgrade it one bit one week and one bit the next, then it don't really matter which one you go for next because the following week, you're going to upgrade the other bit. So you're going to buy an amplifier one week and a pair of speakers in the next week. So it doesn't matter that much. But if you're just going to have a one-off, maybe it's going to be another year before you decide to uh, upgrade something else, then look for the link, weakest link in your system. So hopefully that's been some kind of help. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But I thought I'd put it out there anyway. Uh, until the next video, I'll say thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon.